We're going to look at fossils today found by Steve Etchers along the Jurassic coast. I will film for you the amazing marine reptile fossils like ichthyosaurs that are in the Etchers collection. Here's a backbone of an ichthyosaur in my hand. Can you see how small the single vertebra looks in comparison to the larger Lyme Regis vertebrae I found at low tide? How am I possibly going to fit that ichthyosaur in my lounge room if I find the rest of the thing? Well, as I've said before, the ichthyosaurs grew up to 60 feet, swam as fast as the tuna fish and ate anything that moved back in the Jurassic. What an amazingly large size set of vertebrae I found there at low tide. I've saved those from the destruction of the sea. The sea's actions would have eroded those completely away if I hadn't brought those back. And now we are going down as a family day out to Kimridge for us to see Steve's visitor centre. Well here are the actual tickets that we've been given, a nice family gift and I can't wait to see the Etchers collection. I was invited in the early 90s to go and see the collection by Martin Foster. I'd found a big ammonite for his collection that was 65 centimetres across but I never managed to get down to the Etchers collection then in the early 90s when the gales were roaring in. I was down at the beach at low tide. Here we are at the entrance to Steve's museum. Let's head in and see what he has found. I bet he's got some really big marine reptile finds and there we go look at those backbones from those ancient sea creatures. Wonderful for the kids to see, very hands-on. I'm going to walk up the steps now and look there through that door I can see some wonderful glass display cases with prehistoric fish in. A fish was a tasty meal back in the Jurassic to a lot of marine reptiles I expect and therefore we don't find many fish down at Lyme Regis that are very well intact whereas Steve's got some wonderful ones here. I'm going to do a little pan round of the museum display. It's just part of his grand display so don't not come down here and see the rest of it. It's a fantastic thing to behold and Steve has special permission to look for the fossils at Kimmeridge Bay and extract them with all his knowledge to preserve them and present them to people. And here, presented by the kids as a fly, they've just whisked off one of the window sills. They've stopped looking at fossils and they're scanning that fly in to see its detail. What a great day out, real good fun. The kids are absolutely captivated. It's amazing to see Steve too down in the foyer. As we left, we walked down this street and found that we could get down to the beach. So we thought we may as well go down to Kimmeridge Bay and just spot some fossils down there and see what we could see. It's a really nice day, it's dry and we've got a lovely footpath to walk along down to the seaside. So follow us as we go down to the seaside and we'll go and spot some fossils hopefully down at low tide. Well there really has been an amazing drought in August. This is August of 2022 and look at the stubble in the fields there and also to the grass that I'm walking along just how dry it is as we push on down towards the seaside not a very long walk and a very flat walk too so it's really really good fun just to have a nice stretching of the legs as we go down to Kimmeridge Bay look at the notice boards there and what they say and we'll head down now onto the beach and show you some of the features, the geological features, and even down here in the distance, you can see a pillbox that they used. That pillbox there they used to defend the area from attack in the Second World War. And look at those lovely marine sediments there. Well, I'm just panning around now in Kimmeridge Bay to show you the rest of these geological features and you can see down there in the distance that headland a lovely ammonite we've spotted too with the kids with the sea just pushing over it it's nice for other people who are doing some paddling to see that ammonite too so we'll leave it there in place for everyone to have a look at we're going to have to head home soon with the tide coming in i hope you've enjoyed this short video that we made on our road trip and we're going to take the road home now along the coast and head back through to Lyme Regis. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. We are Lyme Regis Fossils.